have these two folders portfolio and that you will have the multiple files and you will have a all the files you can see block one block two so you can pick any one if you want to practice your html css skills then this project is also very good just download the source code and have a look at the structure we have followed so that will teach you another way first we're going to deploy this particular one multi-page and then we're going to deploy the single page so you don't like this particular one multi-page you can simply delete all the files and so let me select all this one and i'm going to delete this one come back here and get the source code if you want obviously then you can able to deploy and our team have done a lot of hard work for building this template and collaborating with other developers so when you will take this source code you will give your valuable contribution to our team so this is the one we have you can simply come here you can search for it portfolio and you will find this particular two one you can pick any one but i would suggest you take this one and you can buy the once you buy you will have a zip file like this you make sure to unzip that inside that inside that you will have these two folders portfolio and that you will have the multiple files and you will have a all the files you can see block one block two so you can pick any one this is the portfolio this is the single page application and uh, looks pretty good if you come back to the portfolio first we're going to deploy this particular one multi-page and then we're going to deploy the single page so if i click on the css you can see we have the images so the one thing i would recommend you that whenever you change anything or in case of images you have to give the exact name which is given there so you can change the name and you can just add your image and you have to give the same name whatever it was given to the earlier image so that's the one thing you have to do all the asset is provided to all of you guys so all the images you will find here and you can easily able to check from your end and if you want to practice your html css skills then this project is also very good just download the source code and have a look at the structure we have followed so that will teach you another way this is the font we have used this is the different different plugins we have used post -trav, fancy box font awesome for the icon swiper js so you will learn a lot of things when you will take this particular one so we have the javascript file so these are the plugins we are using for the animation for the sliders for the icons for the scroll so you can have a look all this and this is all the packages we have here looks pretty good no issue we have so far everything is looking fine and if you want to do any editing that's also very easy all you have to do is to select the image so come back to and here i have listed all the tools all the platform which i use for hosting the application so you can see i use hostinger hosting domain and digital ocean so in this video i would prefer you to pick this hostinger because they are giving amazing discounts and recently we have been in touch with them so they are giving 75 percent discount if you want to pick and generally we use digital ocean for the bot for the automated tools running something on the server but when it's come to uploading a static site hosting is one of the best hosting is one of the best and they have amazing offer and they have amazing customer support so i'll go with this hosting so make sure to come i'll provide the link in the description so you guys can click and you can simply come and you can click on the hosting so this is the one we're going to use it they're having amazing discounts right now this is the digital oceans and if you want to come to the pages click on this so if you come to this blockchain coder you can access this page by here click on resource section and if you create your account you can simply find here so click on this get offer and it will come back to the hostinger so right now you will get 75 percent discount so hosting is such a powerful platform which allow you to host your application and static site so right now you can see that i'm in, in i'm from india so this is the indian price i'm getting and right now they're having amazing discounts so simply click on this and here you will find all the countries so no matter for which country you are you can pick your country and you can have the entire setup so if you are from usa you can this is the exact amount you have to pay which is very less so i'll come back to the india <coughs> i'll come back here in india and i'm getting amazing discount so click on this and they have 30 days money guarantee click on claim and here they have three plans so this one is the single web hosting this one is premium this is the business so if you come back to the signal hosting in the single web hosting you will get one website 5 gb storage 100 gb broadband you will not get any domain you will get unlimited ssl and security and all of these things but the one i use personally and the one i'm going to use in this project is this most popular one the premium web hosting because i can store 100 websites 
I have this much storage, unlimited broadband. I will get a free domain which I can use for testing. So this is the one which I'm going to pick. And the best part is that you can able to select their data location. So if you're from USA, you can select the data location of USA. If you're from India, Turkey, you can select the exact data location. I'm going to select the India one. You can come here and you can simply compare the pricing plan for the single premium business. And this one is the most affordable one. And the best thing I like about this hostinger is that their customer support is really very good. So whenever my website or any website of my clients get down, I can connect with them. I can easily able to find them and they can help me amazingly very fast. So what I will do, I'll simply come up here and this is the plan which I'm going to buy. So let me click on this add to cart and you will come here. You will come here. You can see what you will get. So they have multiple plans, one month, 12 month, 14 month, 24 and 288 months. So this is the plan which I'm going to take right now. I'm getting amazing discounts on that. And this is the exact amount I have to pay. So right now the actual price is 21,000 this, but I'm getting on this particular amount for four years, for four years. So this one is absolutely amazing discount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for a while time and let me buy this hosting. So let me buy that one. So here I have finally made the purchase and you can see that when you will complete your purchase, this is the exact dashboard you will have single web hosting and the domain. So this is the domain I have registered. So this is the domain I have registered. So when you will come to your dashboard, this is the exact dashboard you will get once you will complete your payment and you will find that which hosting you have taken. So I have taken the single web hosting, the premium one, and I got a free domain as well. So you can see that. I have this free domain but in your case you won't have when you will make the purchase and what I did when I was making the purchase at that time I stopped the recording but I forgot to resume the recording and I created this this domain okay but when you will get into your dashboard after making the payment you will have an option to register a domain so you can put your domain name domain name and you can register that okay so this is the domain name I have given so make sure to provide all the details which they are asking you your address phone number and your valid email and you have to configure your email so once you do that they will verify your email so this is the exact things you will get so click on this manage and you can see I have already done that configuration because somehow the video was paused and that's why I was not able to record that you can see this is the exact configuration I have done. I have verified my ebook. Everything is done fine. Looks pretty good to me. And you can find all the details about your domain. So I'll come here and I'm going to click on this web hosting. So this is the exact things you will get. Now you have to click on this create or migrate website. And here you have to do the setup. So click on get start now. Here it will ask you that you, what you want to do. You want to create your own website. You want to create the website or you want to migrate any website. We want to create our website. Click on create, And we don't need to use any builder because we have our code and we're going to simply skip this process. And here you have to select the domain. So this is the domain which I have registered. So I will simply select this one. If you haven't select by if you haven't, if you haven't, if you don't have any domain, you can simply buy that or you can get the free one. So click on the select and here you can do the configuration for your domain because when you will set the domain name it's going in that you have to provide the registration details email id address and password as well all, all of those things you have to provide so what i will do i'll simply click on this i don't need to do any changes you can select your country of your choice and i will simply click on finish setup and it's going to create the c panel for me my file manager so just wait it's creating easy SSSL certificate automatically will install and installing the SSL certificate and here I got the control panel so I will simply click on this manage side and I will land up here and here I can manage all the folders and files for this particular application so you can see that I have selected this particular domain which is there and when you will connect your domain for the very first time it will take half an hour time so when i was recording the video and when i registered my domain it took half an hour time to make connect it took half an hour time for connecting so once you create your domain just wait for half an hour to one hour after that you will have something like this otherwise it will say that the domain is not connected or you can define the location of the domain some information will show something like that okay so here you will find the information about the application so you can click on this and you can see that we haven't deployed our application here so you will find all of the thing you can configure your hosting so you can click here we haven't configured our 
code so that's why you can see empty everything is empty these are the names this is the pt and these are the use case so don't need to worry about that bring it back and from here you can do the changes in the domain again don't need to do that come back and here we have the free email so you can easily able to set the email or you can create the emails the business email now to deploy our code we have to click on this file manager click on this and it will bring us to our file manager and here we have to simply upload all the files so you will get the exact interface like this click on this public HTML here you will have this default PHP which you don't need to worry about it simply delete that one and here we're going to deploy the entire code we have created in the out folder so now what we have to do is we have to simply drop the files here so I will come back here and I will go to the downloads sorry okay here we have in the here we have the two files portfolio and single page I will click on this I'm going to deploy all of these pages so first we are deploying the multi page and after that we go to do the single page so I will simply select all of this and singly drop and drag it here it's going to deploy and you have to do few things here so let's de deploy the first and you can see we have all the CSS, HTML, JavaScript, everything is looking fine. And now this is the home page. So like when you are deploying to the hosting, you have to give index because that's going to be your trigger file. So make sure to rename this to index. So what I will do, your one page should be in, in index with the name of index because that will trigger your application. So let's type it index and rename this. And that will work fine if you don't provide index it's not going to work and you will get a 403 forbidden error so it looks pretty good to me now come back here and simply refresh your browser and now you are ready to deploy now you can simply click on that and so these are the portfolio multi page and we have the single page as well so simply come and do the changes if you want to do it so I hope all of you guys have got an idea that how you have to deploy this to the hosting and in case if you get any error do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you in that so after this i hope you don't have any issue if you follow the step which i have explained and you can do the editing very easily all you have to do is to select the images select the name and replace that and in case you want to do any modification in the css you can but i would suggest you that if you know that, then you can do. Otherwise, don't touch it. Otherwise, you will create a lot of mess. So with that, I'm ending this video. And I hope you guys have got an idea that how you have to do the things. If you have any question in doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to love, I'll try. I'll try to help you in that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.